Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover hypertext transfer protocol uh, using HTTP protocol. The client can uh, communicate to the server and uh, the server can communicate to the client. Okay. Uh, suppose say I want to access uh, uh, NDTV uh, news website. Then what I have to do is I have to open uh, Internet Explorer or uh, Google Chrome or uh, Mozilla browser. Uh, then I have to type. Uh, the URL in the address bar like this. Okay, so the URL starts with uh, HTTP colon uh, double slash uh, uh, www.ndtv.com. Uh, okay, and uh, when I press enter, the request will go from uh, my laptop uh, browser to the uh, server where uh, NDTV is hosted. Okay, so the uh, the server will uh, process the request and send the response back to uh, my laptop uh, browser okay so the browser will display the result so if i click uh, news here then uh, the url has changed okay and the request uh, went to the uh, server where uh, ndtv is hosted uh, that uh, server will process the request and uh, send the response back to my laptop browser and uh, the laptop browser will display the uh, HTML uh, information okay so this is how uh, it works and uh, uh, entire world wide web uses the hypertext uh, transfer protocol for uh, communication between the client and the server okay and uh, and uh, this uh, Hypertext transfer protocol was established in early 1990. Okay, um, so here you can see here HTTP. So like I mentioned, uh, uh, most of the uh, website URL uh, starts with hypertext transfer protocol. So using this protocol, uh, communication between the client and uh, server happens. Okay, and uh, here you can see the client machine, which has a browser and uh, here you can see the server uh, the server is nothing but uh, the machine which uh, hosts the website okay and uh, here you can send, see the browser which send the http request to the server server will uh, receive the http request process the request and uh, send the http response back to the browser okay so this is how http request uh, looks uh, it has a request line and the HTTP headers. Uh, so HTTP headers is uh, nothing but uh, uh, it will carry information about the client browser and the uh, server. Okay. And uh, here you can see the uh, HTTP response uh, how it looks like. Okay. So it has a status line and uh, HTTP headers. Uh, which is related to HTTP response, okay, and the actual uh, content, okay. Uh, so next uh, we will see how the HTTP request uh, looks like. So when you type URL in the address bar, uh, the browser send HTTP request uh, that will look like this, okay. So the first line is nothing but a request line. Okay, uh, get is a HTTP method and uh, uh, which page uh, we want to access and the protocol HTTP uh, version is 1.1 and uh, from the second line to twelfth line it is uh, HTTP header. Okay, uh, it will contain information about the uh, client browser and uh, which server uh, it want to access. So that kind of information will be there. Okay. Uh, next, we will see how the HTTP response uh, looks like. So once uh, HTTP request goes to the server, server will process the HTTP request and uh, send the HTTP response back to the client. So the HTTP response uh, may look like this. Okay. Uh, the first line is nothing but a status line. So 200 OK means. Uh, server uh, process the request successfully and uh, return the content and uh, from second line to 15th line is nothing but uh, HTTP uh, headers which are related to 
uh, HTTP response. Okay, and next blank line. Then after that, uh, the actual uh, content. Okay, so this content is the one which is uh, displayed in the uh, browser. Okay, so this is about uh, hypertext transfer protocol. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.